One of the more common conditions we see in our pregnant patients is a condition called pelvic girdle pain. And by definition, pelvic girdle pain is pain felt anywhere within the ring of the pelvis. So anywhere in this region here. You might be finding that you've got, you've got pain in through the sacroiliac joints, pain down through the sacrum or in the buttocks, pain down the back of your legs, or you might be having pain in through this pubic symphysis region in through here, where the two halves of the pelvis join together at the front. Some people might more commonly call this a groin pain. So although there's a number of possible causes, none of the research is entirely conclusive as to, what, as to why one woman might suffer it in one pregnancy and not in the next, or why one woman is more likely to suffer it than the next woman. There are a number of possible causes. One of the possibly implicated factors is a hormone called relaxin. And the role of relaxin is to help soften the ligaments all around your pelvis so that eventually the baby can pass through the birth canal. But in some women, that hormone seems to work a little too well and may end up with a little bit of instability in through some of their pelvic joints and that can lead to pain. Some of the risk factors include a history of lower back pain or a history of pelvic trauma. And some of the factors which people often think are involved but actually turn out not to be uh, your, the time since your last pregnancy. So having either a longer or a shorter break in between pregnancies doesn't really make a difference. Your height or weight, so being either over or underweight or above or under average height doesn't really make a difference. Your smoking status and your age also don't seem to make much of a difference as to whether you'll fall into that 20% of pregnancies or not. So what can you do about it? Uh, three things that we commonly recommend are water aerobics. Water aerobics has been shown in women who are still working to decrease their pain intensity and also decrease the amount of time that they'll need to take off work because of the pelvic girdle pain. Also performing individually tailored exercises. So things like glute strengthening exercises can really be helpful, but the research should suggest that you're better off doing that as part of an individually tailored program for you, rather than in a general group exercise setting where you might not necessarily be getting the advice that's just right for you. So we always give our pregnant patients some specific exercises just for them. And some women also find that they get great relief from wearing a pelvic belt, uh, such as the Sorola belt, which is what we stock in the clinic here. And the women that wear them just say that they give them a really good sense of support throughout their whole pelvis and just help manage some of that load that they feel like they're carrying.